Hello there, everyone, and welcome. Surprise, surprise, here I am back on my main Miss Machiste channel for the April 2024 All Signs Predictions. These are time stamped in this reading, so head to the description box down below and the comments section so you can find the time stamps and figure out where your zodiac sign is. Do not forget to check out your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs to get an overall picture of your prediction for April. We're going to go in zodiac order and we're going to start off with Aries. Let me turn on the light. All right. So, hello there, my beautiful Aries. I have missed you all so, so very much. We're going to start this off with an angel to see what angel is with you for the month of April. Happy birthday to all of my Aries sons out there. Wishing you a blessed, abundant birthday season with many, many years to come. So Aries, your angel with you for April is live your joy. Look at that. Right in alignment with your birthday season. Aries, have some fun. Thank you, angels, for supporting me as I follow my joy. So Spirit is predicting a very fun month for you, a high vibrational month. You're going to feel really good. You're going to go for things that you want. You're going to do the things that will make you happy. And Spirit is really favoring that energy here for you, Aries. Very amazing birthday angel to get. Let's see what other prediction you're receiving. And you have, wow. Eclipse in Sagittarius with card number 33 with growth. Success after a setback. All right, Aries. Everyone move out of the way. Aries is coming through. Card number 33. If you have not been seeing the number threes, you will already start seeing them from this moment on. Pay attention to license plates, billboards, social media, wherever you see numbers. Fellow fire sign Sagittarius coming in through your reading. Some of you may have Sag in your chart or around you, but that doesn't have to be. It's just the energy. But Spirit is saying get ready for some enormous growth, Aries. If you've been feeling delayed, if you've been feeling set back, if you've been feeling stuck, there's going to be a big turning moment for you in April that they want you to be aware of. So let's see what your overall tarot theme card is and you have oh my god there it is success and growth i love this card wow aries the positivity in your reading is just beautiful so a lot of conversation the eight of wands here this is my conversation card so a lot of conversation a lot of communication a lot of expansion you have the word growth twice so spirit is saying that is your largest prediction for this month you are going to step into a really big energy of growth and you have a strong emphasis on conversation communication so get ready charge your phone everyone's going to want to be talking to you everyone's going to want to be around you here aries wow you have a beautiful oracle spread here aries you definitely have a very favorable and very positive april Let's see what your tarot cards are and see what else is coming your way that Spirit is predicting. We have the Ace of Swords. There it is. New communication, clarity, victory. If you've been hearing, if you've been waiting to hear from something or waiting to have better communication with someone or waiting for a victory in a certain endeavor, some of you are going to finally have clarity and get out of possible difficulty with mental exhaustion, overthinking, stuff like that. You also have the seven of cups and you have the wheel of fortune. I mean, can this get any better for you, Aries? Jeez. All right. So spirit, you have a lot of options opening up here for you as well with the seven of cups. I feel like for some of you, you may have had a dream about something that ends up being somewhat of a premonition and happening for you in the month of April. That is just a random download that I feel, but there's going to be a big, big, big moment for you here where clarity, communication, victory, multiple paths opening up for you. It's definitely making you feel like a 
positive turn of events is finally going to be here for you. In terms of love, if your communication has been off with your person, I feel like you and this person's communication is going to get really way better this month. And or you could be meeting new people around this time. Some of you with love, you may have some options with love if you are single. But I definitely do feel like there's a lot of beautiful energy coming your way. A lot of Different paths open and available for you. And with the Wheel of Fortune here, you are getting lucky this month. So Aries, beautiful read to start off this All Signs April prediction. Um, I kind of want to say like congratulations or like good job or something. Um, because you also have the Laurel Crown symbolism on the Ace of Swords. And the Laurel energy is also on the Eight of Wands with the growth of a tree. So if you've been trying to like get out of a stagnant energy, it looks like, you know, the flow is back. If you've been feeling very low vibrational, if you've just been feeling down, moody, you don't know why... There's something in the turn of events in April that's going to bring a whole lot of positivity into your energy and into your life. So enjoy it, Aries. This is what I have here for you. We're going to end off your reading with a good karma card to see what is Spirit's idea for you to rack up some good karma this month. But get ready for everyone to want to talk to you for sure and get ready for a lot of new communication, a lot of new information and it does look like multiple different paths. So be open, be observant, and step into your awareness. So your good karma card is ask an elderly or disabled person if they need anything at the store before you go. Yeah, so if you're around anybody that's hurt, that's disabled, that's injured, that is elderly, they can't drive, maybe they can't make it to the store or anything along those lines, definitely be that helping hand to ask if they need anything and or... If you find yourself at a store and you can help somebody like get in, hold the door for them, things along those lines, that is Spirit's way for you, Aries, to rack up some good karma this month. And that's what I have here for you. So thank you, my beautiful Aries. Happy birthday once again. I hope you have an amazing birthday season with many, many years to come. Do not forget to like this video and subscribe. We are back on this main channel. So... Next up is Taurus. Hello there, my beautiful, wonderful Taurus. I have missed you all so, so very much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Let's see what we got going on and see what angel is with you for April. This is for Taurus. What angel is with Taurus for the month of April? All right, Taurus, and your angel is honor your feelings with Archangel Haniel. Thank you, Haniel, for supporting me as I honor my emotions. All right, so Spirit is predicting that you will be feeling some type of way in the month of April. Some of you are already feeling emotional, but it definitely looks like there's an emotional wave coming your way. And Spirit wants you to really honor how you feel. Validate your feelings. It's okay that you feel certain ways about certain things or certain people. You know, honor yourself validate yourself and let the feels pass, you know, because I feel like for a lot of you Taurus, you could be holding on to something that may um, peak in the month of April and cause your feelings to be stirred up somehow. Let's see what else you got going on. There it is. Moon and Pisces with wonder. Follow your dreams. All right. So Taurus, I feel like there is something that is holding you back. And I feel like in the month of April, it's going to be real obvious. It could either be that you are not following your dreams, you are not honoring the way you're feeling. It looks like you're feeling somewhat divinely guided to go down a certain path or follow a certain dream, but you're not doing it. You're not honoring it. You're not validating it. You're not saying, okay, I feel this way and I'm going to do something about it. You're either just sleeping a lot or just doing a whole lot of nothing. And it looks like in April, you may feel a little bit triggered by this. You may, be, you may be feeling very behind. You may be feeling very like you're not making any progress. And Spirit's kind of like, hey, the only person that is in charge of your progress is you. So are you just going to sit there? Are you going to do something about it? So your tarot theme card for the month of April is change your focus with the Five of Cups. Okay, I could have told you that card was going to come out. 
Um, there it is. Spirits like change your focus. You're focusing on the wrong things. And in April, it's going to be very obvious what you have been focusing on that is no longer needing that much of your focus, if any. So I definitely get a disappointed vibe. I feel like for some of you, you may be feeling very down or pessimistic at the moment. And Spirit's kind of saying, you know what? You have a feeling to do something. You don't have this feeling for no reason. So everything happens in step. All you got to do is just take the first step. Be kinder to yourself, Taurus. I feel like you've been really, really mean to yourself or really self-critical or something along those lines. And Spirit's kind of like, the more you focus on the negative, the more that's what you're going to find. So let's see what the tarot cards are giving you and see what's coming your way for April. Because I definitely do feel like you are in a down vibe. I feel it in the energy. I feel it in your read. Let's see. The Queen of Wands, the Judgment card, and the Six of Cups. Yeah, so it looks like in April, people are going to want to care for you. I feel like people are feeling your lack of confidence or people are feeling your um, disappointment. I almost feel like for some of you, Taurus, you are not very high vibrational right now and you like feel bad about maybe letting other people down because maybe you don't feel like you're there for people as much or something like that. But it looks like a lot of people care about you. And in the month of April, you're going to see that. You're going to see that the right people care about you and the right people will, you know, stick around with you during the down times and during the up times. And with the Queen of Wands here, it looks like male or female, doesn't matter. Good news, Taurus, you're going to get your confidence back this month in April. Yes, you may have had to go through a little trials or tribulations but you're going to get your confidence back here. It doesn't matter if you're male or female. It doesn't matter. I see you're getting your confidence back. And I feel like a lot of people care about you. I do feel um, I'm getting a random download for some of you, Taurus, as a prediction for April. I do feel like a past person is going to come back around for some of you. Um, I feel like this person once did disappoint you in the past. But I do get their energy resurfacing. They may miss you or just want to be around you, talk to you. Um, but I definitely get a prediction for a past person trying to reconcile with you. Could be a friend, it could be a family member, it could be love. But I definitely feel like a past energy is going to try to step back into your life around that time of April. Um, you know, your season also starts in April. So happy early, early birthday to you, Taurus. Um, and usually I got to give that disclaimer for birthday seasons. A lot of the times you will get um, energies come up from the past. So disclaimer for some of you, it could just because it's your birthday season and people are coming in. Um, but I definitely feel like the past is going to try to trickle back into your energy somehow in some way. But good news is you're getting your confidence back and you're going to move through this trialed or difficult time for sure. So Taurus, let's see what your good karma card is for the month of April to see how spirit is giving you the idea of how to rack up some of your good karma. You do have this moon in Pisces energy. So some of you Taurus have Pisces energy in your chart or around you. It doesn't have to be. It's just the energy. And your good karma card is the next time you're in a restaurant, put a sticky note on the bathroom mirror that says you are beautiful. Yep. There you go. And I feel like this also came out because it's also giving me another indication that I feel like you're going to have a glow up in April. And that makes sense as to why this is your good karma card. So if you have any paper and pen on you and you're in a random spot, leave a note somewhere. You never know who's going to come and see it and who will need it at that time. So thank you, my beautiful, wonderful Taurus, for being here and for watching. Do not forget to like this video and subscribe. We are back active on this main All 12 Signs channel. So... Next up is Gemini. Hello there, my beautiful, wonderful Geminis. I have missed you all so very much as well. Let's look into it and get started and see who is the angel that is with you for the month of April. This is for Gemini. What angel is with Gemini this month? What angel is with Gemini this month of April? You have Earth Angel. Thank you, angels, for inspiring me to be more like you. All right, Gemini. So it looks like for this month, Spirit is using you as a vessel to be an Earth Angel. So strong prediction that you will align with people who need your help or assistance or advice this month. 
and spirit wants you to really live out that earth angel. Your guardian angels are very close to you at this time as well. When earth angel comes out, your ancestors, your passed on loved ones. So pay attention to their signs and synchronicities. They will definitely try to contact and talk to you. All right, Gemini, let's see what else you got going on. And you also have the energy of Eclipse and Pisces with free will. Serve your higher purpose. There you go. All right, Gemini. So you're definitely going to get aligned with some people in the month of April that need help. In some type of way, these people need a shoulder to cry on, an ear to listen, someone to give them advice, something. You're definitely going to align with people that you have the choice on if you want to free willingly assist these people. But with the Earth Angel energy coming in, Spirit is definitely guiding you to assist when you can, especially this month of April. So let's see what your tarot theme card is for the month. And we have Observe with the Hanged Man. Mm, interesting. All right, so I feel like things are have been quite stagnant for you lately. I feel like you're really going to have to put on those like magnifying glasses here for you, Gemini. Turn on your observ observational awareness. Because I feel like for some of you, you may actually observe someone who needs assistance and you have to free willingly speak up or help. Now that the hanged man has come in, they're predicting that some of the people that are being aligned with you this month of April, they're actually not going to ask you for help. Some of you, you're being guided to free willingly offer. Interesting. Clarify this for Gemini here. What else is coming Gemini's way? This is an interesting message, Gemini. But... You know, a lot of the times when this happens, it's because there is some good karma connected to helping these people and they want you to move towards that energy. So clarify this for Gemini, please. All right, Gemini, you have the Eight of Swords, you have the Ace of Cups, and you have the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. So I definitely feel like for a lot of you Geminis, you may have been very stuck or you feel stuck mentally right now. Some of you are just feeling like you're in the same spiral thought process and you can't get out of it. With the Ace of Cups here, there is a new love offer or a renewed love offer. Some of you even an emotional confession coming in. I feel like some of you, you don't really see this coming, but I also do feel like you're also in a position to offer up your love and help as well. So this could definitely be that individual that I see and feel that will be aligned with you. But I also do feel like for some of you Geminis, you are just receiving an offer of love as you are living out your purpose in assisting the collective when you can. And with the Queen of Pentacles come in, some of you may be feeling a lot more stable financially this month or something may come in for you financially that gives you this stability in this month of um, April. And if you've been really overthinking, doing what you love for work, spirit's kind of like, hey, make the move. If you don't love what you do for your job, free will is a thing. And you have it in your reading, so I have to bring it up constantly. Um, find something you love to do. If you are one of those people that feels stuck at their place of work, April is going to be your most favorable month to get out of your head and actually make the moves to work for somewhere that you actually love to work for. And the Hanged Man is also Pisces card and you have Eclipse in Pisces. So double Piscean energy. Some of you have that energy in your chart or around you. But Spirit really wants you to be open and specifically emotionally open. Open up that heart chakra care for people, love people, and it will return back to you. And like I said, if you do not love your job, now is a time in the month of April to figure out what you do love to do and free willingly go towards it. So Gemini, this is what I have here for you for April. Let's get your good karma card out and see how spirit and what spirit's idea for you and how to rack up some good karma for the month of April. And your good karma card is send flowers to a random patient at a hospital. Interesting. All right. I like that idea because that is like super random. So send flowers to someone. Maybe it doesn't have to be a patient at the hospital if you can't do that. 
um, send flowers to someone that you love and that you care for. You never know what a little bit of nature will do for someone. So thank you, my beautiful, wonderful Geminis. And you got Earth Angel here. So flowers, Earth, you're getting a lot of that. Thank you, my beautiful Geminis, for being here and for watching. I hope you have a wonderful month ahead. And I'll talk to all of y'all soon. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. We are back active on this main channel. So next up is we have Cancer. Hello there, my beautiful Cancers. And thank you for being here and for watching. I very much have missed you. Let's see, Cancer, what angel is with you for this month of April. Spirit, please show me for Cancer. There's your angel, Cancer. And it is spiritual abundance. Nice. Thank you, angels, for blessing me with infinite abundance. Beautiful. All right, so you're getting a very strong prediction for more wealth. Some of you may be getting a raise, a promotion, extra money on the side. Whatever the case may be, get ready to step into some abundance this month, Cancer. Let's see what else you got going on here. And you also have Eclipse in Virgo with reorganization. Choose duties and responsibilities carefully. All right, so Spirit really wants you to ask yourself here, Cancer, where do you prioritize your time? Who do you give your time to? Do you give it to yourself? Do you give it to your spouse? Do you give it to work? Do you give it to other people? Um, there is a sense to reorganize your daily routine and how you continuously live your life. So spirit is indicating that the more you prioritize carefully and choose your responsibilities more in a way of importance, then it looks like the reorganizational energy is going to bring about a flow of abundance for you without you really even needing to try. So I do feel like there's something that needs to be adjusted in the way you live your daily life, whether that's like making sure you eat healthier, making sure you check in with friends more, making sure you go to the gym, making sure you get some sun, making sure you spend some time with yourself, like things along those lines. Spirit is really guiding you to reorganize something in your daily life to indicate more of a flow of abundance. So your theme card for the tarot is awaiting results with the seven of pentacles. Yeah. So spirit is showing me here that you are very, very close to a very strong, abundant flow. And I feel like you've been waiting for this. I feel like you've been waiting for a change. I feel like you've been waiting for a change in your daily life, waiting for a change in a relationship, waiting for a change in a friendship, waiting for a change in your money. Something's happening here that you've been waiting on and it looks like you're stepping into a flow of abundance and spirit is really predicting that for you strongly here and it looks like it's been anticipated. So let's see. First card out, six of pentacles. You also have Judgment and the Nine of Wands. Yeah. So I feel like you've really been struggling with having balance in your life, balance with the people around you. And Spirit's like, look at the past for answers right now with Judgment. Look at the past for answers. How do you navigate your life? What energy do you put out? What is in your daily life that you do all the time that you're like, ah, eh, this is probably not the greatest thing for me? What do you feel like you need to do more of? Look to the past for answers right now. On the Nine of Wands here, you have the Six of Cups, the past, there it is, and the Hermit. So it looks like whatever answer you're looking for is in the past. Um, not as you have to live in the past and go back there, but there's something that you once did. There's something that you once were that is needed now. So look for answers in your past here for sure. Because it's going to make sense to you of what needs to change or why something is being or feels so stuck or feels like you have to wait for it. Look for the past for look in the past for answers now, because I definitely feel like for a lot of you, you're moving into a flow of abundance, more money, more love, more care from the people around you. But they're showing me that a slight adjustment needs to be made in your energy here with this eclipse in Virgo. So either prioritizing yourself more, if you haven't spent any alone time, sometime in April is a month for solitude. Some of you, you've just been around people too much, or maybe around your spouse too long. And it's like, hey, recharge. It's like you need to plug yourself into a charger and like charge yourself up here. 
So this is what I have here for you, Cancer, and very synchronized. You have Eclipse and Virgo, and your only major arcana here is the Hermit, which is Virgo. Yes, Judgment is a major for all fixed signs. Um, but you have double Virgo energy here, and you also have an emphasis on the number six. Virgo is also the sixth zodiac sign. So I would, if I were to give you an indication, I would say to look back to the months of September. What do you do in the months of September? Your good karma card here, Cancer, is bake something for your next door neighbor. This is Spirit's way and idea for you and how to rack up some good karma for yourself this month. And thank you, my beautiful, wonderful Cancers, for being here and for watching. I hope you have a wonderful month ahead. I'll see and talk to all of y'all very, very soon. Do not forget to subscribe. We are back active on this main channel. All right, next up is Leo. Fancy seeing you here, Leo. Leo, if you uh, are unaware, I do have a full Leo Zodiac channel where you get all readings for you, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. If you have any strong placements of Leo, you can resonate to any, any reading from that channel. I will link my other channels down below. Leo, you are one of them. So, Leo, let's see what what angel is with you this month of April and see what's going on here for you, Leo. You got trust your vibes again. You also got this on your channel not too long ago. Thank you, angels. Today I choose to trust my intuition and your guidance. So you're getting a lot of downloads. Your intuition is on fire this month of April. I'll tell you that. You're, you're, you're hearing things, you're seeing things, you're dreaming of things, and you're right on target. So trust the way you feel, Leo. I definitely feel like you're getting a lot of psychic downloads. If you have not been already, I feel like they're going to start now. You also have the energy of, wow, sun and Aquarius with awakening. Your deeper resolve rises. So it looks like April is predicting a awakening for you, an ascension moment for you. Some of you, you're tapping strongly into your gifts this month. You know, clairvoyance, having premonitions, whatever the case may be. Um, there's going to be something that happens for you in the month of April that gives you a really strong indication that you are spiritually gifted, Leo. Wow. Let's see what your tarot theme card is. And you have control. This is strength. Card number eight. There you are, Leo. Ooh, Leo. I love this. You want to know what exactly you're learning here? You are intuitively and spiritually learning when to chill when to react, and when not to react. That is wisdom. That is power. That is knowledge. All right, Leo. Wow. I feel like you are coming in so strong in this reading. It is amazing to see. The fact that you have strength coming through. I only get one of those cards out. Let's see, Leo. I want to see. Let's see what the tarot is giving you. What's coming Leo's way for April, please? Wow. Your strength is going to build to totally new heights. We have the three of pentacles. A lot of people reaching out to you may definitely get some offers of collaboration. Um, possibly even somebody wanting to compromise and heal with you. Nine of swords and the high priestess. Oh my gosh. The psychic power. The psychic power. Oh my gosh, Leo. I feel like there is going to be energies that try to get closer to you this month. And I feel like you're going to have a slight back and forth between overthinking it but and then sitting in the intuitive power. So it looks like there could be some sort of financial energy around you or some people at work or around you in a sense of wanting to collaborate with you. Four of Cups, the Tower... Oh strength the two of cups you're picking up on energies this month you're reading people like a book you are really reading people very very well and i do feel like you are also picking up on somebody coming your way i feel like you are intuitively on it there is somebody coming around there is there's a lot of energies around you i feel like you're gonna have to weed the people out who deserves your energy who doesn't Probably why you got Trust Your Vibes and the High Priestess. 
Because it looks like in the month of April, a lot of people are going to be around you or a lot of people are going to want to be closer to you. But I feel like there's maybe like one or two of these energies that just, you don't feel like giving them your time and energy no more. You really don't. Now, I do feel a slight prediction. If you pull back on someone this month, I feel like they're going to they're gonna um, confront you about it. I'm getting that. I feel like somebody may very much surprisingly confront your withdrawn energy towards them. I feel like they feel your distance. I feel like they feel your detachment. And I feel like sometime in the month of April, you're going to get confronted by someone that you have been detaching from. If you decide to detach from someone around this time, I feel like somehow in the month of April, they're going to confront you about it. So this could be something you've already been doing, or this could be something that you feel like you should be doing. But I'm letting you know right now, Spear is predicting this person is going to confront you about how you feel and why you've pulled back. So either you have an answer or you don't, but I feel like that's what they're predicting here for you. But get ready because you don't feel everything. You are. You're going to be very sensitive to people's feelings, to people's vibes. You're going to be picking up on things like that. In terms of zodiac signs and the spread that could be around you or in your chart, strength twice. Super strong, Leo. They know we on Leo right now, don't they? Um, Pisces, Virgo, Scorpio, and Aquarius. So let's see, Leo, your good karma card for the month is... Send a thank you card to your local police department, thanking them for protecting you and your family. You could do that if you feel like that's something that you'd like to do. I'm not, I don't talk politics, so I'm going to get another card. And your other good karma card is be a designated driver for a group of friends. Oh, that's a good one. If you know, even if you're, if your parents or somebody around you and you're like, Hey, look, I'll drive you there and pick you up. You never know what an offer like that. You could save someone's life. So this is what I have here for you. My beautiful, wonderful Leos. I'll see y'all on my, your channel as well as over here, guys. Do not forget to subscribe over here as well. There's going to be a lot of all signs readings like this. And I know you have Leo in your chart, but you got to have other signs in your chart too, right? So do not forget to subscribe over here too as well, Leos. Bye now. All right, next up we have is Virgo. Hello there, my beautiful, wonderful Virgos. I have missed y'all so very much. Let's start it off and see what angel is with you for the month. This is for Virgo. What angel is with Virgo for the month of April, please? There's your angel. And Virgo, your angel is unconditional love with the Divine Mother. Thank you, Divine Mother, for helping me to give and receive the love I deserve. All right, so it looks like your heart chakra is going to be opening up a bit in the month of April, Virgo. That could be slightly new for you, um, but it definitely looks like you're going to be receiving a lot of love and a lot of care. And it looks like you're also going to be in the position of wanting to give your love and affection back to another person. Let's see what you got here. Some of you Virgos are a mother or your mother is a Virgo and they're giving you an indication to show some love to that person and or show some love to your child. You also have the energy of moon and Sagittarius with discovery, freedom and adventure. Beautiful. Okay. So things are really taking off for you this month, Virgo. Some of you may find something out this month. Um... Sit in the energy of unconditional love, you know? I feel like some of you may discover something or find someone out, find something out this month. It could be slightly triggering, and that could be also why you have unconditional love. Let me see what your tarot theme card is before I talk more. Flow with the Wheel of Fortune. All right, something's going to come out this month. Something is going to be revealed to you here, but it looks like it's a good reveal with the Wheel of Fortune is. With the Wheel of Fortune here, it's going to bring about a positive turn of events for you. Let's bring it, see where it's bringing it. And the tower. Okay, you'll be surprised. And the Empress with Nurture. All right, so you definitely are going to find something out or discover something this month and have a really strong, unexpected, positive turn of events. Mother Energy is here twice. So I do feel like for some of you, you may randomly hear of a pregnancy. Somebody around you may be pregnant. You may discover that or you may be getting pregnant. That's something you could discover. 
Let's see what you have here in the tarot theme cards. You definitely could hear news of a pregnancy. Really strong indication for that. We have the Six of Wands, we have the Eight of Cups, and we have the Queen of Cups. Yeah, you're releasing things here, Virgo. I definitely feel like with the Six of Wands, you're coming into some type of win this month. You could be reaching a certain goal you've had for yourself this month as well. And with the Eight of Cups and the Queen of Cups, it looks like you are getting over something emotionally. And as you do that, it's like you are connecting more to your heart. So I definitely get a heart chakra moment where... If your heart's cold and closed off, it looks like it's going to get warmed up and opened. Something somehow in the month of April will warm up your heart, Virgo. Love, appreciation, feeling seen, feeling heard, feeling appreciated. If you are a mother, this month you may be getting a lot of appreciation and love from your children. Um, but I definitely do feel like there is a big energy around a lot of acknowledgement towards you this month of April. I almost feel like people made like gift you things too. Where like, oh, I was at the store and I this made me think of you here, like stuff like that. Nice. Okay, Virgo. Let's see what you have as your good karma card in spirit's idea and way for you to rack up some good karma this month. Some of you may have Sagittarius, Libra, Scorpio. Taurus in your chart somewhere with the zodiac signs that came out in your reading and you have mail a postcard to a family member you haven't seen in a while strong energy around family in your reading for some reason um, so that is your good karma card here, Taurus. Thank you for being here and for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel. We are back and active on my All Signs channel. Oop. And you will be getting more readings just like this one. So thank you, Virgo. Next up is Libra. Hello there, my beautiful, wonderful Libras. Thank you for being here and for watching. I have very much missed y'all as well. Let's see what we have as your angel and see what angel is with you for the month of April and see whatever else Spirit is predicting for you for the month. This is for Libra. All right, Libra, your angel is change and transformation. Thank you, Azriel, for leading me safely through this change. So Spirit is predicting that you are going to have a big turning point, a big change in this month of April that will lead you to a full-on transformation. All right, Libra, let's see what else is coming through here for you. And you also have the energy of Sun and Taurus. Could be a change to your finances or your work. Boost self-worth and finances. Card number two with practicalities. So there could be a change in multiple things here. You could be changing banks for some of you. Um, you could be changing how you spend your money. You could be changing how you invest your money. You could definitely be changing your job, um, your home space. Um, Sun and Taurus energy is about the things that you own, the things that you commit to for finance and money. So it looks like there's a big change to your finances here, Libra. Let's see what else you got. Manifest with the Magician. All right. So your tarot theme card is a magician. So it looks like you have manifested a change to your finances. So I definitely feel like you're going to step into a lot more abundance financially. Whatever new job or new pathway for money is definitely going to feel good. Some of you may even win money or have been manifesting a very specific type of money or win for yourself. Wow. Libra. Let's see. First card out here is the two of swords. So you don't see this coming even though you have manifested it. You have the lovers and you have the emperor. Ooh, your boss might acknowledge you and give you a raise here. Some of you may meet a new employer uh, randomly. I do feel like there could be slight reconciliation for some of you as well with love and or your person may be deciding to, you know, like tie the knot, want commitment with you. Sun and Taurus, practicalities, that physical energy, that's committed energy. So you may, you may commit stronger to your work, to your role, where then in turn you will get a stronger sense of abundance and money. Or there could be stronger commitment to love as well. I definitely feel like you could connect to a, a boss. Page of Cups, 
tower, ace of cups. All right. I definitely feel like if whatever offer of money is coming your way, you're going to love it. And whatever offer of love is coming your way, it's going to surprise you. Some of you, there is definite, definite new love energy that will be sweeping you off of your feet in the month of April. So you got a couple good things coming your way here, Libra, for the month of April. So enjoy it. Embrace it. And it looks like you'll be surprised as well. I mean, Two of Swords indicates that you'll be surprised. And now you actually have the Tower and the Ace of Cups. So be ready to be shocked this month because you've manifested it. And I feel like it's just going to come out of nowhere here. Strong indication of a soulmate coming in or around you. So let's see what we have as your good karma card here, Libra, and see how spirit is giving you the idea of how to rack up some good karma this month. And you have, when in line at a store, let the person behind you go in front of you. Yeah. So if you're not in a rush and you may have a little bit of time to spare, you know, people always love cutting in line. So might as well just give them the leeway to do it. <laughs> um, um, or if you feel like you have to run back in the store, allow the person to go before you, like stuff like that. Um, Spirit's just giving you random ideas of how to rack up some good karma. So... In terms of zodiac signs in your spread here, Libra as well, you have Aries, you have Scorpio, you have Gemini, and you have Taurus. So thank you for being here and for watching, Libra. I truly appreciate it. Do not forget to subscribe and ring that bell and like this video. We are back on the main channel and you will be getting all signs reads. All right. Next up is Scorpio. Scorpio. Hello there, my beautiful, wonderful Scorpios. I have missed y'all so, so very much. And funny thing, I've actually met a lot of Scorpios recently and I love them all. Um, so hello, Scorpio. Welcome. Let's see what your angel is. That's your angel because geez. Um, so your angel for the month of April here, Scorpio, is spiritual support. Wow, you have multiple angels coming in. Dear angels, I allow you to support me as I grow to become more spiritually aware. So passed on loved ones coming in for you really strong here, Scorpio. You may have dreams, signs, synchronicities you may be seeing around this time, but you definitely have a strong indication of extreme spiritual support. So if you've been feeling like unsafe or unprotected, Spirit wants you to remind you, you are divinely protected, you are safe, you are supported by the higher realms and all as well. So you also have the energy of Eclipse in Taurus, reevaluation with a change of heart. Hmm. Scorpio, strong prediction somebody might try to change your mind about something this month. Yep. You may also come into free willingly changing your mind about something. And, you know, that's okay. We can change the way we feel. We can change our minds about things. Sometimes... You know, we feel differently and that's okay. Some of you may be reevaluating a relationship or reevaluating a part of your life as well, but there's definitely a change of heart here coming in or towards you and you have well-deserved reward with the nine of pentacles as your tarot theme card. You have, this is so nice for you here, Scorpio, a lot of positivity. It looks like you are going to be rewarded this month as well. So it could be that somebody changing their mind towards you feels like a reward. Others of you are finally stepping into feeling better about yourself, feeling more free, feeling more acknowledged, feeling more abundant. Some of you may be reevaluating your work and your money. Let's see. We have the Knight of Cups. We have the Nine of Wands and we have the Knight of Swords. So people are going to come in fast for you here, Scorpio, this month. I do feel like there could be slight drama that comes your way. There could be a little bit of conflict here. But with this Knight of Cups starting off, I definitely feel like somebody is falling in love with you or you are going to fall in love with someone this month. Um, if you are already in a relationship, you could just be falling deeper for this person. But with the Nine of Wands and the Knight of Swords, I do feel like there is somebody that's coming in that may stir things up here. I'm, I get that these energies could be separate. Or they could be connected for some of you. But I feel like somebody may have tried to stir things up here for you for some reason. I don't know why. Some of you have this person blocked. Or some of you have a really strong wall up towards this person. But I definitely feel like if these two energies are connected, it could very much be that somebody who has feelings for you is trying to change your mind about maybe commitment or being single or 
moving the connection forward. Because I definitely do feel like for a lot of you Scorpios, there I feel like there's a full reevaluation to your life, but I feel like there could be a very laser focus reevaluation to the people around you in the month of April. You have two nights coming in, so a lot of energies are going to be around you in April. And I definitely feel like for a lot of you, there could be one of these energies that triggers you or kind of just annoys you a little bit, maybe causes you to be in a mood. And Spirit's kind of like, let that go, let that flow. With the Knight of Swords here, we have the Queen of Wands, the Knight of Wands, the Hermit, and the Strength card. Yeah. I feel like you're going to feel rewarded by the fact that you have so much power this month. And also, I feel like you're going to be rewarded with love. I feel like someone loves you or someone's like falling in love with you, Scorpio. And I feel like they want you to love them back just as much. So if it is connected, they may trigger you and stir that up because they want to be loved by you in the level that they love you. But that's what I'm feeling here for you, Scorpio. In terms of zodiac signs in the spread that could be around you or in your chart, you have Virgo, you have Leo, you have Taurus. Let's see what your good karma card is. I do feel like you could have a financial win as well. I know no pentacles are out here, but you do have well-deserved reward there. So it could be a financial win that some of you are getting a prediction for too. Your good karma card here, Scorpio, is buy a bird feeder, fill, and hang it. So that's Spirit's idea and way for you to rack up some good karma by tending to nature and animals this month of April. So thank you, my beautiful, wonderful Taurus. I mean, oh, sorry. I didn't mean Taurus. Scorpio. Have I been saying Taurus the whole time? No, I don't think so. I think it's because you have Taurus here. I'm so sorry. Thank you very much, my beautiful Scorpios, for being here and for watching. I hope you have a wonderful month ahead. Do not forget to subscribe and ring the bell. We are once again active on this main channel. And next up is Sagittarius. Hello there, my beautiful, wonderful Sagittarius. Thank you for being here and for watching. I have missed y'all so very, very much. Let's see what angel is with you for the month of April, Sagittarius. And Sagittarius, your angel is honor your beauty with Archangel Jophiel. Thank you, Jophiel, for helping me discover my inner and outer beauty. I am getting a download for some of you. If you are looking for an idea for work and how to make money, um, making people more beautiful, being a beautician, a barber, hairstylist, whatever the case may be, could be very favorable for you. And Spirit also wants you to step, in, step into that self-care energy, Sagittarius. Take more care of yourself. Honor your beauty. Honor your uniqueness. Honor the way that you look and the vessel and the body that God put you in here, you know, and really take care of yourself, you know, get your hair done, get your nails done. This angel screams prioritizing self-love. So definitely do that the month of April. And you have, wow, moon and Libra with love. Card number 19, bring peace to your life and your relationships will flourish. Okay. So it looks like there's a renewed sense of balance to the connections around you here. Sagittarius, I feel like a lot of people are going to be showing you love. You may be getting a lot of compliments around this time, a lot of fulfillment, a lot of, you know, just feeling good, just feeling loved, just feeling seen, feeling valued by people. It looks like it's a very, very favorable month for you to feel a lot of love and a lot of care. Your tarot theme card is nurture. There it is. The Empress, you are being called to take care of yourself. You are. Um, change your routine a little bit. Take more care of yourself. Have a spa day. Get a massage. Get your hair done. Go to a holistic healer. Figure out what herbs and oils and these things you can take and do for your hair, for your body. You're really being called this month to take care of your health and wellness. Really big. As well as your inner and outer beauty. And that's why I like that they do that and give you inner and outer beauty. Because beauty is not only on the outside, it's also on the inside. If you haven't been feeling that beautiful inside, now is the time to nurture. You have to fill your cup more. Le double Libra energy here as well. So, Spirit is giving me a really big message here that if you've been neglecting yourself, don't any longer. You're not going to like the outcome if you continuously do. So, 
It's time to prioritize yourself. Take care of yourself. Money can wait. You know, people can wait, but your health can't wait. You know, things along those lines. So let's see. First card out is the Six of Cups. There it is. A lot of love, a lot of care coming your way. The Three of Cups, a lot of support, a lot of people. And you have the Nine of Swords. Yeah. There's something that you're stressing about. It's either the way you look on the outside or the way you feel on the inside or both. And Spirit's going to bring you a lot of energies this, this month. A lot of people that just love you for you. The love you for you. You may be receiving some gifts. I get a lot of assistance. I get like a lot of people are helping you around this time. So if you're in a position where you feel like you need assistance, I definitely feel like this month of April, you're going to get a lot of it. But why are you stressing? I'm a magician. So it looks like whatever you're stressing about can be um, resolved. With the magician being the um, center focus of that clarification... Whether you've been stressing on like, maybe you feel like you're aging, you know, empress, honor your beauty. There are different ways that you can fix your, fix your energy. You know, you don't have to get Botox. You don't have to get fillers. You can literally get like a masseter and uh, what's the other muscle? Uh, starts with a B. I can't think of it right now. You can get like a massage facelift. You don't have to like do or inject things in your or spend the money on stuff. You know, there are ways that you can help out your overall health and wellness without spending a million quadrillion dollars. And I feel and spirits trying to show you that they're like, hey, don't worry if you can't afford Botox or other things that you can do. I don't know why I'm getting that. I'm probably because it says honor your beauty. Or if maybe you're a masculine, maybe you feel like you're losing your hair. There's a way that you could regrow hair. It's just the idea or the download may have not came to you yet. But with the magician here in April, there is a very high possibility that like that divine elixir or like that healing herb or like that way for your hair to come back and grow or something that has to do with healing, health, wellness, outer beauty that idea comes your way. Could even come from another person where they're like, oh my gosh, Sagittarius, I had that issue too. Try this. I definitely get healing elixir energy. And I also do feel like there's a lot of people around you. And I feel like there's a lot of past people that are also thinking about you as well, wondering about you, may say something, may not, but I definitely feel a lot of people thinking about you. So let's see, Sagittarius, what your good karma card is for the month. Hide a lottery scratch-off ticket for someone to find it. That's nice. Whether they win or not, it would be a good thing for someone to find and test their luck on themselves where they didn't have to spend their own money. But this is what I have here for you, Sagittarius. Yes. Very strong Libra in this reading. Taurus, Gemini, and Aries. You may have these energies around you or in your chart. But this is what I have here for you, Sagittarius. Thank you for being here and for watching. I love each and every one of you beautiful Sagittarius out there. Do not forget to subscribe, ring the bell, and like this video. We are back on this main channel for All Signs Reads. Next up is Capricorn. Hello there, my beautiful, wonderful Capricorns. I have missed y'all so, so very much. Hope you are all doing well. Let's see what angel is with you for the month of April. This is for Capricorn. What angel is with Capricorn for the month of April? And your angel is manifesting miracles. Archangel Orion. Okay. Thank you, Orion, for manifesting your miracles in my world. All right. So it looks like you have a miracle coming your way for the month of April. Some of you have manifested. Some of you it is just going to be divinely placed onto your lap. A lot of the times miracles work out that way. Um, but let's see, whatever you've been wanting, whatever you've been wishing for, it looks like you have extremely strong wish fulfillment coming half predicting. Why are we running? I'm sorry. I'm like fighting with my own self right now because I can feel the voice in my head trying to talk over me. And I'm like, why are we talking when I'm talking? Okay. Spirit is really predicting a very strong wish fulfillment moment for you in April. That's what I wanted to say. 
All right, you also have Eclipse and Gemini with negotiation rise to challenges as a new path opens. Yep, here we go. So it looks like whatever's happening for you in the month of April, it's like whatever you say, whatever you do, it will go. But you need to say and do it. Some of you may be negotiating your pay or wanting to negotiate a schedule, no, negotiate your possibly a relationship in your life where you want to have a little bit of negotiation, a little bit of different times. Uh, but it looks like there is something that is going to... It could challenge you then to bring in a miracle almost. And that sometimes is also the way things happen too, where it's like things climax before they peak a little bit. So I definitely feel like whatever you want, it's yours. You just have to like, you know, put on that persuasion energy, get on in the flow. You know, this is why you should give me what I want, you know, stuff like that. So let's see, you have the Ace of uh, woo, the Ace of Swords, Clarity of Belief. So some of you have actually been manifesting in new communication or new information. Some of you have been manifesting or waiting to hear from something or someone. Um, maybe you applied for something and you will hear from them and they will say, hey, Capricorn, we have you at this many dollars an hour. And you're like, I would love to do this. If I'm at this many dollars an hour, do it because it looks like your negotiation skills are going to take forth and you're going to get what you want through whatever this conversation is, information or and or possible application coming in here for you that is approved. I'm getting an approval energy. So we have the six of pentacles, we have the three of swords and we have the lovers. All right. So strong indication that some of you could hear from someone who hurt you in the past. Could be a reconciliation energy coming in. Others of you, I kind of just feel like you've been down about this for a while or haven't been feeling that great about it. Ten of Wands, Wheel of Fortune, there's the change. Could be a big change in your relationship with someone. If you haven't been talking to this person, definitely could be that you two start talking again. I really do feel like there's a big approval energy. So if you've applied to somewhere and wanted to get approved... I, I don't know why I'm feeling that. So I'm feeling that's a download prediction for you where I do feel like you will get approved for something you applied for and or if you request something, I feel like the person will be willing to negotiate stuff with you here. Um, some of you, like I said, I feel like you can negotiate. It does look like with an actual person, but it doesn't mean that it has to be love or it has to be money. It could be that's Love has a turn of events, money has negotiation, but with your tarot theme card being the Ace of Swords, no matter what, your prediction is a victory for the month of April, new communication, clarity, better communication, and or very specific, if you have been manifesting, to talk to someone again or to hear from someone again or for someone to respond to you, very high possibility it happens this month of April. So this is what I have here for you, Capricorn. Let's see what your good karma card is for the month and see what spirit's idea and way for you to rack up some good karma. All the zodiac signs in your spread that could be around you or in your chart, you have extremely strong Gemini energy. And your good karma card is hold the door open for the person behind you. All right, that one's an easy one there, Capricorn. So you could be racking up a lot of good karma in April as long as you have someone behind you to hold the door for. So thank you, my beautiful, wonderful Capricorns for being here and for watching. I hope you have a great month ahead. I'll see and talk to all of y'all very, very soon. Do not forget to subscribe and like this video. We are back active on this main channel. And next up is Aquarius. Hello there, my beautiful, wonderful Aquariuses. I appreciate and love each and every one of you out there and have missed you all so, so very much. Hello, Jenny, my uh, Aquarius moderator. Um, I have also missed you too as well. I'm not sure if you're here. I'm pre-recording this. Um, but here we go, Aquarius. Let's see what your angel is for the month of April. And your angel is the miracle of prayer. Archangel Sandalphon. Thank you, Sandalphon, for delivering my prayers to heaven. So there is something you are praying for. There is something you are wishing for. And Spirit is saying, Aquarius, we are delivering your prayers to the ethers. We are delivering your, delivering your prayers to the heavens. Keep on wishing. Keep on hoping. Keep on believing. Keep on having faith, Aquarius. Let's see. 
You also have the energy of moon and Aries with courage. Card number 13 with believe in yourself. All right. So this has a symbolism of the butterfly coming out of the cocoon. So a lot of you, you have felt very dark, dark days, dark nights, dark clouds, dark thoughts. And it looks like somehow, some way in the month of April, you are coming out of that dark cloud. You are stepping more into positivity, feeling more courageous, feeling more bold and believing in yourself a whole lot more. Your tarot theme card for the month is Refusing to See with the Two of Swords. So I feel like you've been really stressed out. I feel like it's so easy for you to see the negative, but it's so very difficult for you to see the positive. And I feel like something is going to happen for you this month that takes you by surprise with Refusing to See. Um, whenever that card comes out, it shows me that there's going to be something that happens for you that is something you do not see coming. So let's clarify this with the regular tarot and see what it is. This is for Aquarius. All right, Aquarius. You have the Five of Pentacles, the Fool, and the Queen of Swords. So you have a new beginning happening here for you. You have a new path opening up. I feel like some of you are going to leave your job or take more time off from your work. I feel like your job is not doing it for you at the moment. Queen of Swords to Strength, Ten of Wands, Death. I see you pulling back on something drastically this month. I feel like you are definitely, if your job no longer serves you, I feel like the courage is taking the risk towards somewhere else. Let's see, why is that uh, fool here? The Ace of Wands, yeah. So it looks like Spirit is predicting that there's going to be a new path that opens for you, but you have to have the courage and believe in yourself to go down the path. And it also looks like whatever new path it is, it's going to require you to let something else go. So I'm getting money, job type of things. I also do feel like it could be a relationship, a person per se, possibly a friend or lover that you just feel like, eh, I got to leave you behind. Um, some of you, you could hear from somebody who ghosted you or maybe you have ghosted them and you want a renewal of this energy. Um, but whatever this is, it's going to require you to either leave something else behind and or get over some sort of abandonment or ghosting situation that may have once happened to you in the past, either with this person or just in general. But I feel like you're going to let something go and I feel like it's going to change everything here. And for a lot of you, I feel like it's a job. Some of you may highly distance and detach yourself from someone as well. Possibly even you made a new friend. Or you have an idea for a new way of job. So your good karma card, Aquarius, for how you can rack up some good karma this month from Spirit is... Volunteer to read or play games with elderly people at a nursing home. Alright, so that's one. Not everybody is close or around a nursing home to be able to do that. So let's get you another one out. And in terms of zodiac signs and the spread that could be around you or in your chart, you have extremely strong Aries. April is the month of Aries season as well, majority of it. So that would make sense as to why you have it. You also have a little bit of Scorpio and Leo. So your other good karma card, Aquarius, is send a care package to a soldier deployed overseas. They're giving you a lot of like... Very unique ones. Then get a simple one for Aquarius. What if they can't do all that? Collect non-perishable foods from your friends or co-workers and donate them to a local charity. They're hitting you with a lot of charity stuff for sure. So if you could do anything that revolves around charity, I would say that's that's good enough. Because they're they're very specific ones here. And some of them kind of cost money. So Kind of want to give you some that may not require much out of you. So do what you can with those here, Aquarius. Thank you for being here and for watching. Do not forget to subscribe and ring that bell. And like this video, we are back active on this main channel. And last but most importantly, not least, is Pisces. Hello there, my beautiful, wonderful Pisces. Pisces, you do have your own channel called Miss Machiste's Pisces. If you're interested in weekly love readings, daily readings, weekend readings, you get all that on your main channel. I am back active on this all 12 signs channel. So do not forget to subscribe and ring the bell over here as well. Let's see what angel is with you for the month of April here, Pisces. Do not forget to check out your other 
chart placements in this read as well. Timestamps are down below. And your angel is inner power with the Divine Father. Divine Father, thank you for co-creating my world with me. All right, Pisces. I'm going to get you one more card here. The Divine Father is going to step into your energy the month of April and light up your power. If you didn't feel powerful, if you've been feeling powerless, the Divine Father is going to step in and bring you major power for this month. You also have Shine Your Light with Archangel Uriel. Thank you, Uriel, for help, helping me to shine my light, share my light with the world. Yeah. So I definitely feel like you are in the energy of creation right now, Pisces. You're creating your reality. Um, and Spirit really wants you to be open, be seen, put yourself out there. Share your light with the world. You never know who's going to need it at certain times. But man, is your power going to be super strong this month. Wow. April's going to be real good to you. Let's see what else you got going on here, Pisces. And you have, there it is. Look at all that yellow. Eclipse in Leo with compassion. Shine brightly like the star you are. Shine your light. Shine brightly. Leo. Oh, now I'm, now I'm about to call you Leo. Pisces. Some of you may have Leo energy in your chart or around you. If you get the sun, I will be shook right now. So there it is. The spotlight is going to be on you. April spirit is predicting that the spotlight is on you in the month of April, Pisces. Enjoy it. Embrace it. Step into it. You are meant to shine their, your light. You have the word shine twice. So you're going to be shining. Some of you may even feel like you are kind of glowing per se, even at that as well. But let's see what your tarot theme card is. And you have, all right, fine balance with the two of pentacles. Still a hue of yellow here. A lot of yellow and orange energy coming through for you here. Pisces in this reading can be symbolic, symbolic to some of you. Um, but this makes a lot of sense. The two of pentacles. You're going to have to shine in multiple different areas. A lot of people want your energy. A lot of people value you and see your magnificence. And it looks like it's more than one energy that is sort of going to require your light. So find the balance, you know, between doing something here and doing something there, having something here, being for that person over here, being there for that person over there, going to work, going to the gym, going home, doing, you know, find the balance because your light is needed. And I love the symbolism of this energy. It really gives that strong indication that some of y'all definitely have fire in your chart somewhere, but April is the ruler month of Aries season, even though Taurus season starts in that season, it doesn't matter. Um, so the fact that you have such strong fire energy in a fire sign season, mm, beautiful. So you have the queen of wands. There it is. Glow up, confidence, back, feeling recharged, feeling you're ready for it. Some of you, there is a cat symbolism around you as well. You have the six of cups and you have the queen of cups. Wow, Pisces. You may be getting gifted some things. People may be giving you little tokens of appreciation. I don't know why I said tokens of appreciation, but that's what came to my brain. Clarify this for Pisces. You have two queens here. I need to figure out why. Weren't wasn't really. Oh, the sun. Oh my god. I can't. I can't handle this. This would happen right now in your last side. I'm doing right now, and I'm like freaking out. Okay, six of cups to the five of swords, and the queen of cups to the strength card. There's the Leo energy. Y'all gotta have Leo in your chart somewhere or around you. There's a Leo. Let's see, strength to the three of cups, the ten of wands, the chariot, the death card, the ace of wands. I get a lot of new people around you, Pisces. I get a lot of new people collectively, actually. Um, I feel like airy season is gonna bring in some new alignments to people. Um, you know, Pisces, I feel like you are feeling so great or you're going to feel so great in the month of April that I feel like you're going to feel so amazing and you're going to be receiving so much care, so much love that it's going to be really obvious the people who don't love and care for you the way these people do. So I do feel like for some of you, I get that you're going to, uh, I kind of feel like you're going to give up on someone here for some reason. Uh, I don't know exactly why, uh, but I just feel like they don't appreciate you, I'm going to say. I feel like you are a bright, shining star, and 
I feel like, you know, not everybody deserves to be there for the ride. And I feel like you are making decisions this month. You are pulling away from certain people and you're moving closer towards other people this month. And with the Ace of Wands here, there is a very strong prediction that you will meet someone new this month, whether it's love, friend, whatever the case may be. They are predicting that you're going to be meeting somebody new this month. Interesting. There is an indication for reconciliation, but it's kind of clarified by the Ten of Wands. So that kind of shows me that um, you're not really into the reconciliation. And I kind of feel like it could be a friend vibe. But Queen of Wands to the Sun. Oh my gosh. Shine bright, Pisces. Shine bright in the month of in the month of um, April. Your business could take off as well. If some of you have like a business or you work for some buddy and you've been wanting to feel more acknowledged you get ready because they're going to acknowledge you they're going to see you you may even come into a new role with work or add in some more new things for work and it takes off like right away wow pisces this is i you know there have been a, a lot of positive readings in this all 12 signs. Um, I haven't done a 12 signs in a while. Um, but it started off really strong and positive, and it's ending off really strong and positive. So I really enjoy that. I mean, in terms of zodiac signs that you have here, I mean, you have insanely strong Leo energy. Um, you have Scorpio. You have Cancer. So let's see what your good karma card is, Pisces. And see what spirit's idea and way for you to rack up some good karma this month. And it says, learn CPR. You could save someone's life. Interesting. All right. So if you are already CPR certified, let's get you another one. Because I do feel like for some of you, you could be. I am CPR certified. So that's definitely something that would be beneficial for you to do if you are not already. And bring a cake or a box of donuts to work or school. Beautiful. That's an easy one. So this is what I have here for you, Pisces. And now we have concluded the April predictions for all signs. Thank you everyone for being here and for watching. I have missed being on this channel so, so very much. Thank you everyone for your patience. Everyone who stayed on this channel, because I know there was a couple hundred of y'all that uh, um, subscribed. I could see it. I, I see it happening. It did not force me to come back on here any faster, really. Um, but it gave me the time to make sure that I could do it in the time that I had. And thank you all the new people that are here as well. And I appreciate each and every one of you out there. You'll get another one of these all signs predictions mid April. So ring that bell. So you are alerted when you get your mid April all signs reading again. And that will be more love-focused mid-April. So the beginning of the month is going to be super general. And the mid of the month, all signs, is going to be more focused on love. So it's general love you'll be receiving each month. So thank you, everyone, for being here and for watching. And I'll see and talk to all of y'all very, very soon. Check the description box down below as well as the pinned comment to find my other channels that I'm here on in YouTube. And bye now, everybody. Have a great month.